everybody, welcome back to my channel where I, your host, Ardell, talk about nothing and everything and anything in between. And today we're going to discuss part one of the symptoms that I discovered online, because that's how I diagnosed myself, of the fact that I think that I have ADHD, adult ADHD. So symptom number one is lack of focus. What a shocker. So I definitely feel that it has been a struggle to stay focused on things, and it's not, it's not that I... Um, get bored or get it's more so that I get distracted and it's hard for me to stay focused in a conversation I'll have somebody pour their heart out to me but I can't help but point out the bird that just flew by that had like blue wings this is really we all know I'm easily distracted which goes and leads into another thing which is symptom number two which is hyper focus which I'm interested in something and I'm so interested in in it that I basically blur out blot out everything else around me and I'm it could be something like I'm reading an article and somebody's trying to tell me something and I'm not really paying attention or I'm giving them half-hearted replies or it's like you're overly focused on one thing and it could be in a moment, it could be days, it could be weeks. And this is from my experience. So which leads into symptom number three, disorganization. And that can be anything from a disorganized life to a disorganized room, which I always felt was very similar to time management problems. Um, time has been a thing that's always been very overwhelming for me, uh, I or underwhelming. Like, I think I have so much time, I have a minute to leave and get out the door, and somehow I think I still have time to make a smoothie, wash and dry my hair, and put my eyeliner on for the day, which has caused me a plethora of problems. Trying to get to work on time, I've been late like this whole week. I think the past two weeks I've been late, and thank God my manager is amazing, and she's been very gracious and just lets me roll in three to five minutes fashionably late. Oh, it's so ironic that I couldn't remember number five because the symptom for number five is forgetfulness. And I am one of the most forgetful people I know. Um, I have locked my keys in my car twice in one week. Somebody will tell me their name and the moment they tell it to me, I will immediately forget. I feel like a lot of these kind of like weave together, which symptom number six, I don't know why I always have to make like that announcement for each symptom, is impulsivity. And that is definitely something I love about myself and I think that that's something that people love about me is my willingness to just do something on a whim, but it's definitely caused problems. I'll be the first to jump in a pool to make all the kids laugh, but I also will impulsively buy something that maybe I don't quite have the money for. And um, symptom number seven is, I had it and I forgot it. I'm gonna remember it. I will remember it. Emotional issues. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I've definitely been a very emotional person. When I read the five love language book, I felt like I had all five giving and receiving. Like, I'm just like such an emotional person. I emote, I feel, I love it. I actually literally love the fact that I'm such a feeling person and it's baffling to me that some people can't feel to the degree that I can, not to say that they don't have their own way of feeling, but I've always been a very raw person, which actually was one of the reasons why I thought maybe I was borderline, was because they feel like they live on such a, hyper feeling level that they sometimes describe themselves as not feeling like they have skin to encompass their emotions in so but it is something that I know that I have which is emotional emotional problems I mean emotional emotional highlights I don't want to just call everything a problem so so everyone that is part one of the symptoms of ADHD I will do the rest of them in a following video if you are curious if you have any questions if you have any comments concerns suggestions please put them in the link below and I will definitely try to answer them as best of my ability if I don't forget or if I don't get distracted but please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and uh, have a good rest of your day love you bye